So what I have here is the Great Dane, uh, Great Dane Champ, and I wanted to kind of demonstrate how this thing works because, like I said, this is very different from the walk behind that they would make now. And I said it, it's really just because of the control setup and the way that it works. It's just a, it's a slightly confusing machine, but I've got everything adjusted right. Uh, I got the new uh, brake band installed on uh, this wheel. And I, it's sitting in the trash here, but I'm, this is really what happened, I'm guessing. Because I realize this brake band is still one piece. It's not broken. Somebody has intentionally cut the end of it off and tried to re-weld it because of the way that the brake band bolts up. Like it, it has like a straight shot coming off the bolt. And because of that, there's no curve, and it's very difficult to mount it. So, um, the brake band that I put on this is from a Toro, and I have a rotary number for it. It's a 05-10415, and it's uh, basically, like I said, it, it's a pretty universal 6-inch brake band. Now, one problem I had with this, uh, after I kind of figured out the mounting thing, which really wasn't a big deal, I just had to tweak one of the ears a little bit. But the biggest problem I had with it is that it had so much brake material on it, I actually had to take some off to get the drum on. Now, I don't know if that's because this had a rust flip on it, or if it's just because this, the lining, uh, makes it like an extra, you know, it really turns like a six inch brake shoe into like a five and, you know, Seven eighth kind of deal. It's something weird, but uh, but at any cost, you know, I've got I'll get this thing fixed. So let me give you a, a quick demonstration, real quick, of how it drives forward and backwards, so you get kind of an idea. Because like I said, this is it's just kind of a weird machine. Um, I think this is still going to work out great for me, but like I said, it's it's goofy. You just have to figure stuff out. So here's what we got. Said, I feel like I've got this thing dialed in pretty good now. Um, I'm still going to do some other things. I'm going to order some new deck pins. Uh, these guys are here because it's, it's still got some clay. I don't like that. I don't like it because I don't want that to mess up somebody's yard. Because that's, that's the difference of a quarter inch, at least. It's not a big deal, but it's big enough a deal. Um, and what else I figured out is these pins, they actually need to rotate to the bottom. Because if you go to this, well, uh, I might need to get the bigger. I, mean, I think I need these this style because this loop I don't think it's actually big enough to go to this inside pin. Well, we can find out. Is it? Uh, not easily, but I just I need a different type of pin system. I think what I really need is a clevis style where I can throw a clip into it because, or a hitch pin with a ball that uh, they won't come out. I think it's probably my best option for that. There's my son trying to come out. Hey, come on, dude. Come on. Am I going to stay in? Okay. I'll be right there. But anyway, that's how this thing works. Um, I also think that somebody has put a universal belt on here or a different size because this pulley is as far out as it will possibly go. The hydro belt's pretty tight, but I believe it needs a smaller belt. Uh, but other than that, 
I, I think I've got everything pretty much spot on adjusted right. And deck works perfect. Throttle, I think the throttle might need to turn up some. I'm going to research the, uh, the FB460 and see how you set the low speed idle, high speed idle. The choke is integrated with it, so that, that's not really much to do there. But I know one thing is going to be pain in the butt is when this choke cable or this throttle cable breaks because I'll have to figure out where to get one of those from. But I can more than likely steal it from another mower. But anyway, like I said, this is a Great Dane Champ. If you've got one of these, hopefully this information helps you out because, like I said, I can't find anything of existence of these things. But uh, I mean, it seems to cut grass pretty good. Uh, I've only cut uh, maybe half inch to three quarters of an inch of grass because it's February and for some reason in Indiana it was 63 degrees today so I tested it in my yard did like two strips because you know for once just <laughs> it's kind of funny to see somebody mowing in February but second I'm not there's not the grass isn't tall enough to really give me an accurate look but I was able to run it kind of look at the blades everything was nice and clean um, I can't really tell you if it stripes I'm guessing it probably doesn't because the deck seems to be pretty level. So, but uh, we'll do some more work with it this summer, and uh, we'll have some, some. I'll have some better information for you then. I know one thing that I haven't mentioned about is there's actually a fuel shut off down here, and I don't know if that actually works or not, but I'll probably be replacing it. So, anyway, like I said, that's that thing. So, hopefully, this information helps you out. Thanks for watching.